Hello, uh, my name is Kimberly Orr and I'm the publisher of The Upper Room and I want to welcome you to this Monday moment of prayer. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, I'm Kimberly Orr, uh, the publisher of The Upper Room and I just wanna invite you to this um, Monday moment of prayer. I invite us to just take some deep breaths today um, here in Tennessee, uh, United States, it is a rainy Monday morning and uh, that type of weather for me just invites a moment to say, let's just take a moment and breathe and exhale any of our stresses from the weekend and in inhale uh, the very presence and a reminder of the presence of God. So let's just take a few moments. Hmm. Thank you, God, for being among us. I do want to invite us, as we're beginning our time together, uh, to remind everyone that uh, we have a wonderful event coming up here at the end of the month known as Resilience. Resilience, healing practices for mind, body, and spirit. Um, we are in this ongoing time, not only of, of COVID crisis, but other crises around the world, both uh, political and racial tensions and many other uh, tensions in our world um, that are just now, uh, we need to take some time, I believe, to invite God's presence of healing and fun, believe it or not. Yes, we can have joy in the midst of all of this stuff that's going on. And this conference that's coming up here at the end of the month um, is uh, for you. Uh, there is going to be a uh, link uh, here in the chat somewhere, and I know it's on our Facebook page as well as our uh, Upper Room site, and you can click that link uh, and you can register. It's theupperroom.org slash resilience and you can register for for this wonderful conference that's coming up yep right there in the chat i see it thank you very much and we just hope that you will avail yourself and please share this with your friends your family your church uh, we'd love to have as many people as possible join us in this wonderful time together thank you so uh, I just invite us again to a moment to consider God's presence with us. And one way that is so uh, great to do that is to use the scripture. I'll be reading from the Hebrew scripture today um, and uh, also in honor of our Jewish siblings. Uh, tomorrow starts uh, the day, the celebration of Sukkot, uh, the celebration of tabernacles, what's known as. And um, it is a celebration of, of, of God's provision uh, as the people called Israel uh, wandered through uh, the wilderness and their preparation of going into the Holy Land. Um, and this is one of the readings uh, that is a part of that celebration. And it's found in the prophet Zechariah, the prophet Zechariah chapter 14, and I'll be reading verses 7 through 11 um, out of uh, the JPS, uh, Jewish Publication Society translation. Again, Zechariah chapter 14, verses 7 through 11. Please hear these words of hope and comfort. But there shall be a continuous day, only the Lord knows when, of neither day nor night, and there shall be light at eventide. In that day, fresh water shall flow from Jerusalem, part of it to the Eastern Sea and part to the Western Sea throughout the summer and the winter. And the Lord shall be the King over all the earth. In that day, there shall be one Lord with one name. Then the whole country shall become like Arabah, from Geba to Ramon, south of Jerusalem. The latter, however, shall perch high up where it is, and it shall be inhabited from the gate of Benjamin to the site of the old gate, down to the corner gate, and from the tower 
of Hananel to the king's wine presses. Never again shall destruction be decreed, and, De and Jerusalem will dwell secure. Dwell secure. I want us to just focus on uh, that little statement right there for a moment. Shall dwell secure. I wonder if in your life there may be areas where you don't feel secure, that there are areas that are not as secure as you hope they would be. I want us to just take a moment of silence, and I want you to just lift those areas where you feel out of joint, insecure, in chaos, up to our creating and recreating God. Let's just take a few moments. Amen. I pray that you will continue throughout this day to take time when you feel that anxiety rising up, when you feel that disjointedness moving in your thoughts, that you'll just stop. Take a deep breath. Maybe go back to this passage in Zechariah and, and remember that God is in the business, even though it can seem like things aren't changing that God is what we call the master of the long game. God is the master of making things come into focus and fruition and into wholeness in the long run. Now that's not always comfortable for us, but the reality is uh, we are not alone. We are in this together as, as siblings uh, around the world and also in the very presence of our creating and recreating God. So again, I just want to encourage you that God is in the business of light. God is in the business of life. God is in the business of restoration. May you know God's presence in a new and life-giving way today. I invite us now to a time of prayer as we pray for one another and the world. As we walk together today, we pray for wisdom, your wisdom, O oh God, to teach and guide us. We pray for shalom in the midst of chaos. We pray for our leaders, for the nations and all in authority. We pray for justice and peace and freedom among all the peoples of the earth. We pray for a just and merciful end to the ongoing pandemics of COVID-19, systemic racism and domestic abuse in our country and around the world. We pray for those who've experienced violence this weekend in Russia. We pray for those who are feeling the, uh, the effects of ongoing natural disasters. Lord, we pray for mercy and healing and presence, your presence to be so real in those places. Holy God, we indeed, indeed pray for all those suffering physically, emotionally, spiritually, and economically. And for all of those, we pray for healing, abundance, and joy to reign. We pray for those who are feeling lost and alone. And for those who create community and sustain vital friendships, we pray for those leaders. We pray for all who are mourning the death of loved ones, the death of hope, and for those just being born. We pray for those who uh, are, are leaning into new love and to new hope and new dreams. We join our voices with all the saints and the angels of God. Let us offer ourselves and one another 
to the living God through Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for being in our midst. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope that we will see you September 30th through October 1st for the Resilience uh, Healing Practices for Mind, Body, and Spirit. Please register. Again, we'd love to have you. Please share uh, this conference with uh, your church, your friends, your family, your small group. And uh, we just look forward to God's refreshing in our midst. May you be blessed today. May you have hope today. And may you remember you are beloved and you are not alone. Go in peace. Amen.